Hey guys, Marco here. Hopefully you're all doing well. Today we're doing some photography, but not just your normal photography. We're going to take a stab at product photography. It's something that I've always really wanted to get into, and I think it has endless possibilities of being really creative and cool, but I just haven't dabbled that far into it. So I took a look around my room, noticed I have a bunch of really cool knickknacks, bits and bobs, and I found this awesome old school camera. And I figured this would be the perfect item to try out some product photography. So I watched some videos prior, kind of like summarizing what the best steps to do for product photography are. Now your classic Peter McKinnon vlog tutorials. And pretty much what I summarized it down to is that you want one, a cool product. Two, you want good lighting. And three, you want to create like a good scene. And creating that scene involves adding textures, adding layers, different items that help accentuate the story that we're trying to tell with this product. And that's going to be like an old school vintage vibe. In a case like this, I would like to go to a vintage pawn shop kind of place to get those old school materials with great textures to really make everything else pop. But I think we have enough stuff in the house, whether it be in the garage, my dad's office, or in my bedroom, that will kind of help paint the picture. And we have some great old books that will really help. We have a few like Apple crate boxes that I think will really help. And then I know I have a bunch of like old school film photos that I can kind of lay around the design. So that's the game plan. I'm going to go grab all that stuff, move everything in my room, kind of clear out the window so I can get that natural light coming through, set the scene, and we'll see how this goes. <laughs> all right, so we're in a place that I think a lot of you will recognize. It was one of the sets for my latest short film, Anywhere But Here. And this is where we have so many old school knickknacks. Found this cool looking like wrench thing with a lot of rust, which is awesome. I found an awesome old box, some license plates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring all these up, see how I can incorporate them. All right, so I found these books in my dad's office. Like, look at the beat up texture on these. That will make the, the feel of the photo so much better. So I'm probably gonna use those and uh, now that I got pretty much all the items that I want, let's uh, let's set the scene. Thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So after some finagling, I've pretty much come to the setup that I think looks pretty good. I put everything up at I think the best angle from the window so that I could get the nice light kind of cutting through. And then from there, it was kind of just moving props in and out to see what works best. I decided to go for more of like an old school photography travel theme, but I think the setup turned out pretty well. Now it's just about capturing the photos. So here we go. I love shooting through stuff, getting kind of like that bokeh. So I tried to do a lot of photos with that. As you can see, I kind of moved some items around, finagled certain items here and there to see what would work best. And then just captured as many photos as I could. And in the end, I think they turned out pretty well. So I guess product photography isn't as daunting as I once thought it was. I'm definitely tempted to try more product photography. I think a cool magic one would be really sweet. So if you guys want to see that, hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> what did I learn while doing this? Product photography can be really hard, but it's less so when you take your time with it. I literally waited for the golden hour to come through my window. I took my time setting up all those pieces and it's coming back to all that pre-production that is really the key to the final product. But yeah, if you're gonna try this yourself, get your scene right, get your textures, get your different colors, different surfaces, set the scene and start shooting. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did hit that thumbs up, subscribe, follow my social in the description. You guys know the drill. I will see you all in the next video. And as always, I'm Marco Pereira. Ciao for now.